Hi guys, welcome back to Debris Day. Today on Debris Day, we're gonna set up the solar panels and solar charger inside of our workshop. Let's go guys. Solar power. What do you need for solar power on your shed? Well, first of all, you need a solar panel, which is a Renergy one, which I picked up off of the internet. You need a battery to store the power that you generate. This is a uh, leisure home battery, 110 amp hour battery. And then you need either PWM or MPPT charge controller. This is a 14 amp that I got with the Renergy setup. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, is show you how to rig these units up prove to you that the panel works in the sunshine, uh, rig the battery up to the MPPT controller, and then rig the solar panel to the MPPT controller, and then prove that that's all charging. So the solar panel will go through the MPPT controller and it will charge up the battery. And then off of this MPPT controller, I can then run off some lights, which will present on top here, some LED lights into our shed. So that way we'll have some light into our shed this evening. Okay, let's get rigging. So guys, this is the rear of the uh, solar panel. What I want to show you is that you've got a positive and a negative. I'm going to put a multimeter on there and put it out into the sun to show you that it does actually generate power. Um, what's also useful to know is these details here. So max power is 100 watt. This is a 100 watt panel. Um, open circuit, 22.5 volts. Um, and it's going to give me operating voltage 18.9 volts um, and the current is 5.29 amps. Now, if I want to expand this, I need to buy another 100 watt panel. But let me, uh, let me get this rigged up. Let me put the multimeter onto these two connections here and demonstrate that the solar panel is generating solar energy. Let's do that first. Okay, I've got my solar panel in the sun. There it is. The sun's pretty low in the sky at the moment and it's behind a load of clouds behind those trees. So I'm not gonna expect to, to get an awful lot of power out of it, especially because it's late in the day in winter, but let's give it a try. So I've got my multimeter. I'm gonna connect the positive to the positive and negative to the negative. Let me just do that. Okay, I've plugged the, the multimeter in. Power, positive to red, negative to black. I've set my multimeter on, and as you can see, it's generating about 20 or so volts at the moment. That's not bad for winter. It's not too bad at all. The maximum, looking at this open circuit voltage, is 22.5. So I think that's a bit wrong. But mind you, this is on watts. So it's up to 200 watts. It's doing 20 and it can go up to 100. So scrap that. It's a 100 watt panel and the current winter sun is doing about 20 watts of, uh, of power, which isn't particularly good, but it is low winter sun and it's not actually in high sunshine at the moment at all. As you can see, it's very low. But as the sun comes through, hopefully it's gonna break through the clouds in a moment, we should see this rise as we get more power. Now, bearing in mind this is gonna be on the roof, up here on top of the uh, on top of the workshop there we go look you see as the sun comes out we're slowly getting more and more power 20.8 and i'll just do a little test i'm going to move this up into the sun a little bit further up the uh, the path there to see if i get a little bit more volt a uh, bit more wattage okay i just moved it further up into the sun they're getting 23 watts as you can see the sun is up there this isn't particularly angled or whatnot hopefully you can see on here on the multimeter 23 watts at the moment and like I say, winter sun, not particularly angled, just sitting on the floor, at least I'm generating some power. It's quite interesting, as soon as I stand in front of it and sh give it some shade, look at the difference. That's just a little bit of shade. Let it go into the sun, 23 watts of power. Perfect, so the solar panel works. Okay guys, next stage of putting the solar panels on the roof. Um, what I need to do is take the solar panel, which is over here, I've got some brackets which I need to attach to the roof and I've got some cables which are here. I'm going to route those through this roof panel somehow. I've got to figure that out in a moment. And then on here, I'm going to put a board. I'm going to put the MPPT controller on there. Then connect both the battery up to that and then the solar panels down to that. So let's do that. So as you can see, we've got these, uh, these brackets. Um, we need to present these onto the side here um, so we can screw them down. So I need to measure between that hole there and the other side. So what I probably will do is I'll drill this first set in here um, and then I'll attach, yes, then I'll attach the, uh, the solar panel to it. Then I'll work out the distance to attach this one 
afterwards and then I can drill that one. So I've brought the cables in from outside and they now run down this panel here, ready to connect to the MPPT controller in a moment. Next phase guys, what we've done, we've put this board against um, the metal shed, we've got the cables coming down as you saw earlier and we've put the MPPT controller up against this board and we're going to have switches and cables and stuff here. We've run the cables down the back, um, I'm going to route them back up uh, and into there. I might leave the extension on the cables for the moment. They need to plug into the solar connectors here and then the batteries need to plug into here. So what we're going to do, we're going to move this bench, this is our working bench, we're going to move it underneath here, we're going to put position the batteries, you connect the battery up first, um, then we'll connect the solar panel up and then we'll connect the load which will be for our lights. So let's do that next. So what we've got in the MPPT controller under here is you've got the photovoltaic uh, positive negative, battery positive negative and then you've got the low positive and negative. We're going to connect first and foremost the battery to the positive, battery to the negative and then rig it up to the battery below. So this is the positive which comes from the battery. I'm going to put that into here first. This goes under all of this, so a little screw. Okay, and then I'm going to put the positive one the same. These are not connected to the battery currently. Under here, what you do is you just come down. We've got the battery, positive and negative, and we've got our inverter. Now the inverter has a cable going to the back, and then this is the cable that's going to go up to the MPPT. So I'll just feed that to the back. So that's nice and converted. Uh, converted. That's nice and connected. So now, if you come down with me, so we've got the two connectors. So we've got the positive and negative. Make sure this is all tidy. So let's just bring this forward for a second. Positive on this side, negative on this side. We'll connect the positive up, and we've got one of these. Uh, um, butterfly clips on it. So I put this on here, red's positive, and then I'm going to tighten this up. Actually, do that like that, and then tighten this up. And what you'll find when I connect the negative up in a moment is that the MPPT controller will come on. The next thing we have to do is connect up the photovoltaic panels. Okay, that's on there tight. Now we'll find the negative, which is here. Make sure it's the right way around. So I'll put this on here. And if you look up there, you can see that's now illuminated. I'll just tighten this up. Which way is it? Righty tighty. Mm -hmm. Lefty loosey. That's right, isn't it, Mini Dubes? Yeah. It's nice and tight. I ain't going anywhere. I can make sure these are nice and tight. So that's on there, that's on there. I will just show you that the inverter works. So down here is the inverter. This converts a 12 volt DC to 240, um, 240 volts. Turn it on. Got 12.4 volts on the battery. And you can't quite see on this screen, but um, this will now show you loads of details on the screen. So I'll just turn it off, just drawing some power off the battery. Come back up to here. As you can see, it's got the solar panel. It's connected to a battery. Um, come this way a little bit when you do, so you can get a closer view on the screen. So we've got the solar panel here. There's nothing going in it yet. A, it's, it's late in the day. That's the battery power, and that's the low, which we haven't rigged up yet. And we can change this. So, it's 12 degrees C in here, there's nothing going out to the load, the solar panels are not currently charging the battery, uh, and no loads going out from the battery. Well, the battery is on 12.6 volts, and it's at 75% capacity, and again, there's no amounts being pushed into the battery, and there's 0.4 volts, the last time we've used it has been collected from the solar panel. So that's the MPPT controller. What I need to do next is rig up into these connections, the solar panel. So let's do that now. Okay, so now we've got the two cables from the solar panel on the roof. Uh, I'm not gonna get anything out of it now because it's quite late in the day. 
Um, so we have the positive here and the negative here. And if you look under here, mini deeps, you got a positive and negative here. Can you see that? You might have to go a little bit closer. So we're going to put positive into here, negative into here, and we do that by these two screws on the front. So let's do that. And that is the solar panels rigged up. So that's the first bit done. I will tidy these all up in a moment. In fact, I will, if you can get me one of those, please, when you do, so I'll just tidy this up as we go. We'll put this on here, just to keep it nice and tidy. Oops. I'll cut those off in a bit. I'm going to leave those just like that for a moment. Perfect. So you can see the solar panel is connected. If you zoom up here, please, Ben. The light's illuminated. And if you look down here, the solar panel is generating electricity. Now, if we go across, it's not generating enough at the moment to charge the battery. 77%, 0.04 amps in total have been generated. And it's currently generating 14 volts off the solar panel at the moment. So guys, thanks for watching. That's installing the solar cell, um, the MPPT charge controller and the batteries. So that's all now rigged up. Um, next week, we're gonna connect up the LED lights um, over the uh, load from the MPPT controller. And if this time, we're also gonna put a, an additional device in which will show us exactly how many watts and amps, etc., and volts we're getting from the solar panel. That'll be next week. We've also got some uh, workbenches we're going to make, so I'm going to do that as another video. And we've got a grinder coming this weekend. We've got to set up the forge. There's lots of more projects to do in the workshop. Anyway, that's it for this week, guys. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and thumbs up if you like this. Thank you so much for watching Debris Day, and see you next week. Cheers, then. Bye.